Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back. This evening, uh, we're going to be using one of my favorite soaps, brands anyway, that is Kay's Bubbles. And this is the Connecticut Shade scent. And this is really, really good, especially like tobacco scents. It's just, oh, it smells fantastic. Now I showed you the lid because I'm gonna face lather and I've had the soap kind of soaking or blooming a little bit. The brush I'm going to be using is from Craving Shaving. Uh, I think I call this one Serenity. This was a tester knot that he did uh, where he was learning how to gel or make gel tips on badgers. So it's a nice gel tip knot. I don't recall what kind of badger this is, but it's a decent gel tip. So we're just going to do a, hopefully a decent load here. The soap, it's one I've had for a little bit. I picked this up, or I was uh, given this soap from Leather Me Whiskers when I was up in Montana uh, months back. And it's been sitting in there and I keep looking at it going, I really need to use it, really need to use it. And other things just catch my eyes. So I needed to break it out. And I had something else in mind tonight, but then my, uh, my middle son comes in I'm like, hey, you know, what, what soap should you use tonight? And he, he sees that in one of my piles. Like, oh, it's like Katie's Bubbles. And I was like, of course, Katie's Bubbles. Which Katie's Bubbles? And he picks this one. It's like, all right, Connecticut Shade. I haven't used that one yet. I'm, I'm done with Connecticut Shade. The scent strength on this is pretty good off the puck. Uh, the scent notes, as, as far as my lid can, are concerned, is sweet tobacco, vanilla oak, and nutmeg. And as I was loading, probably loading a little bit too heavily here. The scent really opens up, or becomes a little bit stronger. Off the puck, when it's dry, at least this one, as I mentioned, I've had this one for a little bit, and it's uh, kind of not really dried out, but it's, the puck has shrunken, shrunk a little bit, because uh, it is a little bit deep, lost a little bit of the hydration, which happens to key bubbles. And, you know, it doesn't affect the performance at all, but you're, you'll occasionally just tear the puck moving around a little bit inside the container. But again, that doesn't hurt performance at all with cage bubbles, which means that a little bit of the water has gone out. So the puck has shrunk a little bit. Load, load off the tub, which I can hear CDB screaming, don't load off the tub! Sorry, Chris. Load off the tub a little bit, add a little bit of hydration back into the puck, and it shouldn't move around a whole lot anymore. If that bothers you. Personally, it doesn't bother me if the puck moves around a little bit. I normally scoop and bowl lather. Unless I'm using a nice natural hairbrush. Then I will load off the puck on some soaps. Katie's Bubbles is, like, as I mentioned, one of my favorites. I don't plan on getting rid of that one. Or any of the bubbles that I have, so I will load off the puck with Katie's Bubbles if I need to. Now one thing with the Katie's Bubbles, uh, their containers are the same as the old HCNC containers. So they have this little, little lip to them making it uh, a little bit harder to get the corners of the soap. Another reason I went mostly to uh, bowl lathering when I first started. Because Kitty's Bubbles was one of the first soaps I ever picked up. I got a container of purple grapefruit in a pith. And because it was harder to load off the top puck, I started bowl lathering with it. Now, one thing I didn't realize back then, if you haven't used case bubbles, one thing to note is that it is a fairly hard soap. So if you are going to load off the puck, especially with a nice gel tip badger, Or a good silver tip badger, anything along those lines. It's a really soft 
not is you'll probably want to soak the puck a little bit just to soften up that top layer so it makes it easier to load. Do you have to do that with these bubbles? No. I've done it plenty of times where I haven't soaked the puck. Even if I bowl out there, I usually put a little bit of water on top just to kind of loosen up a little bit, depending on which type of synthetic brush I'm using. Uh, but it is, a, it is a hard soap. A little bit goes a long way. So these wonderful four ounce containers will last a long time. All right, the razor. I haven't used the Chevette on my channel for a little bit. So we're going to go with the Focus Slim. Uh, this has a, I believe, a third use, second use, I don't know, Permasharp. Have to be in there. And this is a uh, big shout out to J Mac of the Canadian Mafia. Uh, I know he loves his Focus. I said, next time I use my Focus, my IBC, or the Feather on video, I'd give him a shout out uh, because he loves these razors and he wants to get an IBC. I think I've enabled him to get an IBC. And I'm okay with that enabling. And I know this is uh, one of Ewan's favorite razors. He just thinks it looks super, super awesome with the modern design and everything. Ewan just loves it. Ewan from uh, Shaven Butcher awesome gentleman over in Sweden. If you notice what that did in there, I kind of went in at a tighter angle, almost flat, and I kind of just rolled the razor to get underneath my nose. That's where these, a lot of the Chevettes, especially this half DE Chevette, truly really excel. Gives that smaller head, smaller form factor. One thing I like with the uh, Focus as well is it is nimble, but also has little protectors on the heel and the toe of the blade. So if you're first learning how to use a Chevette, but you've been DE shaving for a while, You probably have a good assortment of DE blades that you can use in something like the Focus. Now, one thing I will say with the Focus is you do want to use a DE blade that's been snapped in half, not a saloon blade, because it requires that uh, relies on the tension of that little extra bend or kink from the blade being snapped to retain that in place. It just slides in place. So you want to make sure you're using blades been snapped in half, not a saloon. Now the soap is fantastic. You all know I love keys bubbles. No issues here lathering it up. I just I loaded it, you know, pay attention when I was loading it. Had a good amount of pseudo leather in the tub, then if they add a whole lot of water to it, of course using a natural hair, that hold on to water anyway. So, didn't need that whole lot of water to it. It's a phenomenal slickness here. It's very well hydrated. I could have added more water. This one wouldn't pass a Ewan test. You can see it's just holding on. It's kind of like whipped cream, but it's still very nice. Incredibly slick.
these bubbles may not have the most sexy labels. Some of the names of their souls may be a little hard to pronounce because they're in a different language. I don't know why Chris Cullen, I don't know why Chris does that because he's in Jersey. But his soap is no slouch. If you haven't tried Katie's Bubbles, easily recommend it. Because it is, it's slick, it works, it's very well priced. Soap in the corner of my mouth, not pleasant. You can use, get hydrated enough, you can use any razor, any type of razor you want. And the scent strength is nice. It's not overpowering. I hate when I get blood in my ear. But it's not anything that's, that's weak off the puck either. I mean, it's, it's definitely present. It's noticeable during the shave. It lingers a little bit, but not horribly. Uh, my wife has never commented that she can smell the soap, but I all occasions still get whiffs of the soap after the shave and in the next morning. So it's a really nice one. I like these bubbles a lot. And Kay's Bubbles, I feels like I'm saying Kay's Bubbles a lot, is my, uh, my middle son's favorite soap brand. Asked him why. It's just because of the name. He likes the name. And he likes some of the names of the soap, the ones that I have. He likes the way they smell. I mean, he smelled kind of like a shade, and he was kind of like a, oh, kind of that euphoric look on his face, and he smelled it. So he, lo he likes this one a lot. I think his favorite is purple grapefruit. As far as the scent goes, the last time uh, he shaved with me, he said he got a little bit of burning on his skin from case bubbles, and that could be just because he wasn't hydrated enough, or I don't know. It I've noticed occasionally and this goes with most soaps. Not just the bubbles. Is I'll use it. I use the same soap numerous times and have zero issue whatsoever. But then occasionally I use that again and I get a little bit of not frag burn but irritation from the same soap I've used over a dozen times before. So he was saying he had a little bit of irritation from from it before but you know in my case they can see I maybe just pushed the blue a little bit too far maybe I just didn't hide it enough or you know whatever but when he shaves with me he's seven he doesn't have a blade it's just straight up razor so can I attribute that to Anything on that end. I don't know. Uh, he hasn't used it for a little bit. But he did to say the last time he got a little bit of kind of a irritation from it. During. I used it a few days later and had no issues. 
but I have experienced that before. Um, I had that with Keys Bubbles. Uh, and that with, let's see, HCNC, even some PAA. Other stuff that I use frequently. 99% of the time I have no issues, but occasionally it's just like, oh, there's a little bit of tingling or, and it could be I was outside too long, I was dehydrated, you know, whatever. You know, just the random stuff that affects your skin that you don't think about. So that's kind of what I attribute it to if I have an occasional shave with the soap I've used numerous times before where I get a little bit of irritation due to the blade or my skin just being dumb, for lack of a better term, for that day. I love this razor. It's a great little Chevette. I see why Ewan loves it. And no, Ewan's gonna comment, I hate that thing, it's ugly. It's weird looking, I, I'll give him that. It's very modern. But it works very well. It does have a little bit of a different angle than a lot of the uh, Chevettes. Because that little almost bevel to the blade, you can kind of see it there. Not to the blade, but the blade holder. No, oh, there's a little bump on my neck. Didn't even feel it. Yeah, not bad. So the angle is slightly different than what you're used to with some Chevettes. Once you get used to that, the shave you get with this is fantastic. And unless you have a bump on your neck like I did right there, it's harder to cut yourself with this. At least not with the heel or the toe, because they're a protector. Gift of a good soap. This is a great razor to learn with for as far as chevettes. And they're not gonna get a lot of blade feel with it. But it's very efficient. I'm trying to do this without my glasses is hard with this razor. Well, any razor on my chin. I should say it's hard while I'm joining on video because I'm trying to stay in frame and not go to my mirror like I know I do with it when I'm shaving off camera. And if you're saying, use your other hand. Left hand, right side against the grain, I know. I know. There, that's much better. A little bit of cleanup, my usual spots. Ah, not a usual spot when I have don't have my goatee. Well, is a usual spot when I have my don't have the goatee, I should say.
So I think it's going to be time for another giveaway coming up pretty soon. Details on that to come later. On how to enter. I can tell this to be slightly different than I've done anything before and how to enter that one. I'm going to ask you a question about something I've done in a previous video. And have you send me a DM on Instagram with the answer. And I'll put the answer in the comments below because I will delete it. And you will not be entered in the giveaway. And what that question is, coming later. Not this video. It's coming later on. There, 20 something minutes. This is longer. I'm, I'm sorry. I have face lather and I'm using a Chevette. Clean shaven. A little longer video. I think had I used a different, uh, I used an AC razor. Could have been done this a lot faster. But you know talking and everything else and takes time. Yeah, that was good. Very nice shave. I do not have a matching splash for this. Uh, I don't have any splashes for Kitty's Bubbles. I should get some. I'm afraid they're really good. Mm, that was a nice shave. Just a little bit of stuff in my normal spots, no matter what razor I use. But, man. Seriously, if you haven't tried Keys Bubbles, absolutely check out some Keys Bubbles. Oh, I had some lathers there somewhere. They've been around for a while. Don't get a whole lot of love in the in the shoe of the day photos. They get some, but in my opinion, not enough. They're, as I mentioned, really dang good. Phenomenal stuff there. I'll do my cleanup off, my aftershave stuff off. I'll just do witch hazel for a post and call it good. But anyway, I've rambled on long enough. Thank you guys for tuning in if you stayed this far. If you have, thank you again very much, and I'll catch y'all next time.